All right, so welcome to the fourth beam problem. So we have a cantilever beam still, we're still on cantilever beams, but this time we have multiple loads and they're all changing at different points throughout the beam. So it's not something linear or it's not a point load. So we're gonna break this down into three videos. So the first video, we're gonna look at the reactions. Second video, we'll look at the shear moment functions. And the third video, we'll look at the shear force and bending moment diagrams. All right, so the first step is to solve our reactions. All right, so we can write our equilibrium equations. So we can go sum of forces in the x direction equal to zero. So any forces forwards or backwards, we can say backwards negative, forwards positive. So straight away, we can see there are no forces acting in the horizontal direction. All our forces are acting down in the vertical direction. So let's say this is point A. And let's say this is AX. So our AX reaction is equal to zero. Okay, so next one, sum of forces in the Y direction are equal to zero. So any forces acting up or down, we'll say up, positive, down, negative. So the total force acting on this beam is going to end up at this reaction. So what is the total force? The total force is the area of this shape. So all we need to do to find our AY is to find the total area of this changing shape. So the best thing to do is to break this shape into sections. So we can see we have an underlying 12 kilonewtons per meter acting across the majority of the beam. So we have 12 kilonewtons. This middle section is 12 kilonewtons and we have 12 kilonewtons here. So we have a rectangle acting here. We have a triangle acting here. And then we have a trapezoid shape here. Okay. And we have all our values. What we need to do is find the total area of the shape and that will be our AY. We right, really have one reaction. And our A1 is going to be the rectangle. So our rectangle this is 12 and this is 9. Our A1 is equal to 12 kilonewtons per meter multiplied by 9 meters. That will be 108 kilonewtons. Our A2 will be the triangle. So we can go A2 is equal to this triangle. The base of our triangle is 4 meters and our height is 20 kilonewtons per meter. So formula of the triangle, our A2, one over two times four meters times 20 kilonewtons per meter. So we'll have 40 kilonewtons. And then finally, finally we'll have this trapezoidal shape, which will be in our A3. So it's kind of like this. So our A3, this is 15 kilonewtons per meter. On this side, we have five kilonewtons per meter and the length, is three meters, right? So from here to here is three. So we have 15 kilonewtons per meter plus five kilonewtons per meter divided by two, and this will be multiplied by three meters, and this will be 30 kilonewtons. All right, so now we found all of our areas and we can write our equilibrium equations. So we have our positive reaction, so we can go positive AY, positive AY, and then we have all of our forces acting down. So we can write negative 108 kilonewtons, negative 40 kilonewtons, and negative 30 kilonewtons. And this will all be equal to zero. And then finally, we have our sum of moments about point A will be equal to zero. So any moments acting in the anti-clockwise will be positive. Any moments acting in the clockwise will say is negative. So we already found our forces. So we have our rectangular load was 108 kilonewtons. Our triangular load was 40 kilonewtons. And our trapezoid was 30 kilonewtons. So we look at our rectangular load, the force will act halfway, halfway between these. So this will be one over two, and this side will be one over two. All right, so if we look at our beam, the total distance of this rectangular load is nine meters. So that means it will be acting 4.5 meters. This will be 4.5 meters. So this total distance, this total distance from our reaction point will be 5.5 meters. So our total distance will be 5.5 meters. Our moment will be the force multiplied by the distance from the reaction. So if we're looking at our beam, this will act in this direction around our A point. Okay, so our total moment, which will be 594 kilonewton meters. All right, so let's look at our triangular load and our triangular load, the force will act here and it'll be one, this is one third. 
and this side is two thirds. So if we look at our beam, if we go back to our beam, the force will act somewhere along here and it will come around our point, our A point in this direction, right? So what is this distance? Let's redraw our triangle. So our triangle is four meters long and this section is two over three. The total length will be two over three times four, which will be 2.67 meters. So if we go to our beam, this will be acting in this direction. And this is 2.67 meters plus our one meter point here. Our total length will be 3.67 meters. So our moment from our triangular load will be 146.67 kilonewton meters. And then finally, we have our trapezoidal shape. So what we can do with this shape is we can split this into a triangle and a rectangle. The force from our rectangle will come at one over two. This will be one over two. And then our force from our triangle, this will be one over three. So this is five and this part is 10. And our total length is three meters. So what we need to do is find the force from this rectangle and the force from the triangle. So the force from our rectangle is five by three, which will be 15 kilonewtons. And the force from our triangle will be one over two times three times 10, which will be 15. Our distances, this distance will be acting 1.5 meters. And this distance will be acting at one meter. So if we go back to our beam, so we have our moment acting from our rectangle acting here. And we have our moment from our triangle acting in this direction here. And we know these distances and we just need to add this distance across. So this total distance, if I just erase this, is six meters. So it will be plus six meters and plus six meters. And here we can find our moments. So it'll be 15 multiplied by 7.5, which will be 112 point five kilonewton meters and this one will be 15 multiplied by seven which will be 105 kilonewton meters and then our total moment is just the sum so our total moment will be 958.17 kilonewton meters so here we can write ma is equal to 958.17 kilonewton meters and this is the first video solving the reactions for this cantilever beam.